When um, did you first come to the, the story? When did you first read the book? Before the film or? or? Um, I read the screenplay, mm -hmm. and then I read the book, and then I auditioned ah. in that order. So um, I didn't have any prior knowledge of this story before it was adapted into um, a screenplay. Reading the book, your thoughts on it? What were your initial thoughts reading it? I mean, it's especially its popularity. Well, originally I loved how Jonas has such a journey. He has so many obstacles he has to overcome to, um, to release these truths about this community mm -hmm. um, and to find freedom and to, you know, he fights for love. And it's a very, um, it's a very extreme place to start, uh, you know, as, from an actor's point of view. Mm -hmm. um, the stakes are always so high. And um, then I read the book and I realized that it's, it's more than that. It's a more powerful meaning. You know, he is fighting for so many things, not just, not just love, not just um, freedom, but, you know, a feeling of identity and home. Having done the story, what's your greatest fear? What would be your greatest fear looking at a world like that? What would be the greatest fear of what's missing? What would you, you think you'd miss most? Um, from this world, from this community, <laughs> What would I miss most? I guess, uh, I guess it's a double-edged sword, you know? Mm -hmm. What you miss is what you, um, you know, fight to not have. Mm -hmm. You know, being comfortable and being happy and, um, you know, th that's the thing about the book is that you, we really feel like there is a community and it's, every, everyone's very supportive of each, of each other. And <laughs> it's family and there's friends. Um, it seems very, it seems like a great world, and that's basically what we want in life. Um, however, it's not, it's not real, it's not the truth. And so I guess with the truth and with reality, that world. Mm -hmm. What's the challenge of playing Jonas? What was the, the biggest challenge for you? The biggest challenge for me was finding the right levels of um, the, the emotions that I learned. Starting quite blank, and, well, no, I said blank, but really, they don't start blank. They start very unaware of what's really happening. So there's, there's a lightness and a playfulness in that naivete. Um, and so that was quite fun <laughs> for me. Um, I guess it was, it was really, the struggle for me was finding the right balance with Philip and Lois to really understand, um, you know, how big I should go when I find these things that I, I know about, color, how, how big should that be? Mm -hmm. Or how confused should I be? Um, you know, it was like Philip had a dial and he would say, less confused, more happy, less happy, more anxious, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that was the challenge for me. You did a great job. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.